The head of the African Union came to Canada asking for help from the Prime Minister today, but didn't get what he was looking for. The President of Benin was here asking for Canada to join the battle against Al-Qaeda-linked extremists in Mali. They've captured two-thirds of the northern part of the African nation, and there are fears Mali could become a centre for Islamists to launch international attacks. But as Mike Lecouture reports, the Prime Minister isn't interested in Canadian troops getting involved. It was once a country on the road to peace, but Mali is falling into the hands of Al-Qaeda radicals. They've taken over the northern regions and are moving south. The fear is that Islamic extremists will soon have full control of Mali and start spreading to oil-rich parts of Africa. Well, that fear moved the issue of Mali to the top of the agenda when the head of the African Union sat down with Prime Minister Stephen Harper today. We are calling on the leaders of all great nations and the Prime Minister as one of those to join us and form a global coalition. He worries if the world doesn't take a stand here, Al-Qaeda will be a threat to everyone. Last month, Defence Minister Peter McKay hinted our military could be sent in, but Harper is now saying no. Um, the Government of Canada is not considering a direct Canadian military mission. Uh, what we are doing and will continue to do, obviously we're providing humanitarian aid to this region. Which... A military coup last March overthrew the government in Mali, and the group behind that was the same that claimed responsibility for kidnapping Canadian diplomat Robert Fowler in 2009. He says these terrorists won't compromise and can only be defeated at, quote, a much greater cost in blood and treasure. It's a sentiment echoed by this international security expert. There's a case here on both humanitarian grounds and national security grounds for, get, for getting serious about uh, the problems in Mali and also its neighbours. Canada's offer of aid clearly isn't what Bonnie Yayi had hoped for. Near the end of the press conference, completely unprompted, the African leader made yet another plea to the Prime Minister. Each day comes with a toll for the international community, he says. We need Canada's strong presence to help us. Strong words from the leader of a small African nation who made sure his message was heard loud and clear on Harper's home turf. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.